Preschool 2. It's me and Charlie again to read from Curious George's Five Minute Stories. This is going to be the last time we read from this book because the rest of the books are going to come from over here. I have a set of George's, Curious George's first seven books that were written, and I have some more over here that we're going to read. But Charlie's favorite book from this one is Curious George and the Bunny, and he's going to help me read it a little bit. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. They all start out the same, all Curious George stories. This is George, and George was a good little monkey and always very curious. Good. One day, George found a little house. Inside was a big white bunny and a lot of little bunnies. George looked and looked. Bunnies were something new to him. He wondered what it would feel like to hold one. The big bunny was the mother bunny. She was as big as George. But the little bunnies were so little that George could hold them in his hand. How could he get a bunny out of the house? A house must have a door to get in and to get out. Oh, there it was. George put his hand in and took out a baby bunny. It was fun to hold a baby bunny, and the bunny did not seem to mind. Now he and the bunny could play a game in the garden. They could play get the bunny. George would let the bunny hop away, and then he would run after it and get it back. He put the bunny down, but the bunny ran off like a shot. Where did the bunny go? George looked and looked, but the bunny was gone. All the fun was gone, too. George was sad. Now he could not put the bunny back in the house with Mother Bunny. Why, why, that was it. George had an idea. Mother Bunny could help him. All he needed was a little bit of string. That's what he did. He ran to the bunny house and tied the string to the Mother Bunny. She knew just what to do. Away she went with her head down and her ears up. All George could do was hold on tight and run. George followed Mother Bunny. Soon she saw something and George saw it too. What is it? Bunny. It's about to be. Let's see. George and the Mother Bunny ran and ran. And then Mother Bunny sat down. George saw the baby bunny's tail poking out of a hole. A bunny likes to dig a hole and then go down to lie in it. But this bunny was too little to live in a hole. It belonged in a bunny house. And that was where George took it. The baby bunny f followed its mother all the way home. George didn't even have to tie a string on it. When they returned to the bunny house, Mother Bunny and all the little baby bunnies laid down to sleep. George was glad to see Mother Bunny and all of her babies safe and sound. Good night, bunnies. Good night. Good night, Charlie.